Hi guys, Gutsy from Gutsy Edits here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best render settings in Sony Vegas for your Hot Pog HD PVR. Before I get started, I want to say go ahead and sub to my channel. If you subscribe, you get entered in a chance to win 1600 Microsoft points. This is only for my first 200 subscribers, so go ahead and sub to my channel to get entered in that. Alright, let's get started. File new. For your template, you want to have a HD 720-60p, 1280x720, 59.940 FPS. For your width, you want 1280. For your height, you want 720. Build order, non-progressive scan. For your pixel aspect ratio, you want 1.0000 square. For your output rotation, you want zero original. For your frame rate, you want 59.940 double NTSC. For your stereoscopic scopic 3D mode, yeah, that's a big word. You want off. The two boxes below it, you want unchecked. For your pixel format, you want 32-bit floating point video levels. Next, for your full resolution, you want best. Motion blur, you want Gaussian. Uh, for that method, you want none. The box underneath this, you want unchecked. Don't worry about this. That's not important. And you want to click start all new projects with these settings. Go to your audio. Master bus mode, you want stereo. The next you want zero and for the next box you want 192,000 for your bit death you want 24 next you want best and go to ruler for ruler you want ruler time format you want times and frames ruler start time put that at zero beats per minute 120 Beats per measure four, and for the next one you want quarter. Summary is not important. For your audio CD, it should be one in that little box that's on the bottom. And that's all for your new project. File, import your clip, drag it down. If you guys need a tutorial on how to cut your clips, I'll be more than happy to do a tutorial on that. It's a very simple tutorial. So, just cut your clip, find out where you want the starting point to be and the ending point. Alright. Now, you want to right click on your clip, go down to properties, and disable resample. That is very important. I can't stress how important that is. Also, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Also right click on your clip again, go to event pan crop, and you see there's a black bar along here, and there's also one along the right side. To take that away, I already have a preset for it, but you just want to drag this in just a little. Now you see the black bars are taken away, and everybody's happy. Now go to video effects. Sharpen, reset to none, drag that in. Exit off. Now go to Color Corrector, Studio RGB to Computer RGB. Don't fool with any of that either, just exit off. Clip looks a little bit better, now it's time to render. Render as, you can switch your file name to whatever you want, I choose to just put my, keep mine as untitled. Alright, for your save as type, you're going to want videos, I mean, excuse me, Windows Media Video V11. And you're going to want the WMV. For your template, you're just going to want to click custom. Alright guys, while I'm waiting, just go ahead and label your template whatever you want to label it. 
you can either pause this video or I'll just stop talking for a second. Alright. For the box down here, you want to include audio. So check it. And for your mode, you want CBR. Format, you want Windows Media Audio 9.2. For your attributes, you want 128 KBPS, 48 KHZ, Stereo, A slash B, CBR. Alright, go to your video. For your mode, you want CBR. Format, Windows Media Video 9. MSI is high definition, 12. 80 by 720. Pixel aspect ratio 1.000. Square. Frame rate uh, FPS 59.94 double NTSC. Seconds per keyframe 3. Check override default comparison buffer. Yeah. And you want it at set as 3. For your video smoothness, you want that at 100. Okay. For your bitrate, uncheck the first four boxes and check the fifth one. For the fifth, fifth one, you want 10M. Alright, guys, go to Index Summary. Never mind, go to Project. That's not important. For your project, you want Video Rendering Quality Set at Best. You want that big word right there. I don't know what that is, and you, but you want that is Use Project Settings. Okay. Now you want to press save and that starts rendering your clip. I don't need to render my clip, but like I said at the beginning of the video, if this video helped you, go and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like, favorite, and comment this video. You guys are great. Thanks for the 50, no, not 50, I'm crazy, 82 subs. Y'all, you guys are just impressing me. I'm really li liking how y'all are staying active. I'm getting double my subs for views. Uh, every time I put out a video within like three days, I get at least 150 views. I'm really appreciating y'all, appreciating y'all staying active. Um, if you guys can make me a background or an intro, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, because I, as you can see, my intro is pretty crappy, and so is my background. But um, you guys are great. Thanks for the. 82 subscribers. Alright, peace.